This marriage is also an opportunity for royal families to get together and party. Some, like Prince Charles of Bourbon de Sicilia, and his wife live here. Just before the wedding, we met the Princess Camilla, and she told us about her friendship with Albert and Charlene. Euronews reporter Laurence Alexandrovich posed the questions to the princess. Princess Camilla, you're a close friend of Charlene. You are, of course, also family, as the Bourbon de Sicilia and the Grimaldi family are cousins. So you know the two of them very well. Yes, I know them both very well, but I know Prince Albert better, as we've been friends for a very long time. That's why I asked him to be a witness at my marriage, which he gladly accepted. It is a deep friendship and one that has come a very long way. We got a picture of Charlene perhaps as a little cold, a little tense, we thought, during the civil marriage ceremony. Is that her? Is that what she really is like? She has a side to her that really changed and convinced Prince Albert to fall madly in love with her. She has an innate elegance, and now we may see the sporting side to her character. That side has a charm all of its own. We all know the prince has a great passion for sport. He always has had. How do you think Charlene will deal with the obligations which come with being a princess? After all, she is what we would call a commoner. I don't think it's going to be easy. It's true, it's a wonderful love story. As they say, it's a fairy tale and a beautiful one. Behind the image, of course, there is also a life of obligations, of travel. And it goes without saying, it can be difficult. They are the Prince and Princess of Monaco, responsible for the Principality's people, all of them looking to the two of them. Your Highness, what's your message for the newlyweds? Albert and Charlene, I wish you all the happiness in the world and a very happy and long family life together, full of love. Vive les mariés.